Hey, Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551 here. And as promised, I am back on YouTube for the NFL record prediction video for the Giants and Jets. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about stuff that happened around the sports world. And then I'll go back and talk about what also is coming to YouTube soon. So if most of you know who Dick uh, Vitale is, now, obviously, he's a Michigan commentator. Now, he did not pass away or anything. I'm just pointing him out that he is very old, 83. So it will be a shock once he passes away and stuff due to the fact that he's a very good um, commentator and I really enjoy his um, atmosphere. He's kind of like uh, Gus Johnson of basketball and stuff. He has that um, great um, voice and is just makes the game more exciting when he's on the, the screen. I played um, NCAA 09 basketball on my 360 and he was in the game and it was just phenomenal to hear his voice when um, when my guys were playing the game and just like dunking it, slamming it on people. And it was fun. Um, but unfortunately, in the sports world, two guys that have um, left us and have gone up to the um, to the sky are Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics. Uh, most people call him the goat in certain aspects. People will still say MJ is, but. If you want to call him that, go right ahead. Um, he has um, passed away and, you know, great guy, won 11 rings. Um, what more can I say about him? He's just a phenomenal basketball player. Unfortunately, there also is the guy who did um, the Dodgers broadcast for baseball. He has passed away. I believe it was the commentator and a broadcaster. He is gone, unfortunately. I am. I apologize for any Dodger fans out there that really enjoyed him. He has passed away, um, and I apologize for that. Now, I'm going to go into the um, stuff that is coming to YouTube now. Now, as promised, I'm working on the TikTok videos, and I will be bringing them to YouTube. Now, I have four playlists that I'm going to do. Sports, Star Wars, Arrowverse, and Vampire Diaries. The reason those are going to be the ones that are going to be there is because I have a lot of sports videos already on YouTube. And this is going to count as one of them. Already, I have 82 videos. And I have about 14 more videos coming off TikTok onto YouTube. There's also the fact that um, I have Arrowverse, where I have 40 videos that are coming from TikTok to YouTube, and I'm putting them in a playlist. I have Vampire Diaries, where I have 58 videos, and they're coming off. And I have Star Wars, where I believe I have eight or nine videos that are coming off TikTok with the three or four videos that I already did on YouTube. The reason behind that is those playlists have a lot of videos for it, but I'm not going to do playlists. Like I have videos that I'm doing for One Tree Hill now and other shows and stuff. And I'm not going to put those in a playlist due to the fact that there's only probably going to be like one, two or three videos. So you can just find that in the uploaded section on my YouTube channel for the playlist part. But yeah, now back to the... Um, real world and sports world let's talk about players that have been traded now I, I said I would wait until um we got to August we are in August right now and stuff and here it is Deshaun Watson has been traded from the Texans to the Browns most people already know that happened and Baker Mayfield has been traded from the Cleveland Browns to the um Panthers now I don't mind Deshaun Watson going there but I think it was such a stupid mistake but I understand the Browns um, saying, hey, we're fed up with uh, Baker Mayfield. We don't want him anymore, so we'll go to uh, a different guy. Um, but Baker getting traded to the Panthers was a big mistake. And I have to say it's because you have Matt Coral, the rookie you just drafted, and Sam Darnold. Choose one of those two quarterbacks to develop for your next season and don't, and don't get Baker Mayfield. Now, you could do Baker Mayfield where it was like a trade deal and stuff. Maybe you're trying to trade him to another team maybe Seattle wants him or something or one of those other teams wants him the Lions the Vikings I don't know but ultimately I think it was a bad pickup and stuff and I, I personally don't believe that the Panthers should have done that but I guess we'll see what happens if Baker starts but I really think the rookie is going to beat them out and he'll start over Baker Mayfield um, probably like in week two or three other than that let's go right into the Giants and Jets um, record predictions Okay, sorry, the camera got cut off. So let's get into the Giants and Jets record prediction, and let's talk about each game and explain where we're going from here. 
as you can see, I was all the way down here earlier, just checking each game. But um, if you want to see their preseason games, here it is, the Philly Eagles, the Falcons, and then the Giants. Obviously, there's only three games due to the fact that there's 17 games in the season. So let's go through, um, let's go through uh, each game and let's talk about it. Um, Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to give them a win there because due to the fact that Lamar's coming off an injury um, and I don't really think that they have necessarily the strongest team anymore. So I think the Jets can pull that one off and win Cleveland. Now, I forgot to mention um, that Deshaun Watson has been suspended. Either way, though, I think the Jets would win this game due to the fact that Deshaun Watson didn't play for the whole last year because he sat out. And he's suspended for six games. So I think the Jets will win there. And that's two wins. Um, Cincinnati, that's a loss. Two and one. Due to the fact that Cincinnati's coming off a Super Bowl win. I mean, I'm sorry, a Super Bowl loss, but has already made it that far. And the team is young with Joe Burrow. I think they will win that one. The Steelers, great defense. Might have some problems on offense with Kenny Pickett, but I think the Jets will pull it, um, will not pull it out. So I think the Steelers will win that. Now we're at two and two. Miami, the firepower. That's a loss. That's two and three. Green Bay, that's a loss. That's two and four. Denver, I think that's going to be a win. So that's three and four. New England, that's a loss. That's three and five. Buffalo, firepower, that's three and six. They will have another loss. Coming off that revenge, I think they're going to split here. They will win. They'll go four and six. Chicago, they'll win. They'll go five and six. Minnesota, they'll win. They'll go six and six. The reason, Chicago Bears have just lost some of their defensive firepower, and their quarterback is coming into his second year, and I don't think he's that great. Minnesota's struggling a little bit as well. So six and six going into Buffalo. That's a loss. Six and seven playing Detroit. That's a win. Seven and seven Jacksonville. That's a win. That's eight and seven Seattle. That's a win. That's nine and seven Miami. I think they'll split against Miami. That's 10 and seven. They will make the playoffs at 10 and 7. I believe they can do it at 10 and 7. Last year, I said their floor was, um, I said their ceiling was 9 and 8. I said their floor was 5 and 11 or something. So I think their ceiling is 10 and 7. I think their floor is probably 8, eight and 9, maybe. I don't know. I think that they'll win only eight games, but. We'll see what happens. Um, so I have them at 10 and 7 right now to get into the playoffs. All right. Going to big giant stadium here, you know. Let's see what we got here. The Tennessee Titans. Ugh. I want to say that's a win. Um, it's in it's in Tennessee, but I think it's gonna be a win. Carolina. Now Baker did play last year, but he didn't do so well. So I don't know. They're having a quarterback problem down there. I don't know who's going to start, but I think that the Giants can pull it out. So I'll go with a 2-0 and start for the Giants as well. Let's see. Dallas, 2-1. and I'm going to go 2-1. and uh, Chicago, 3-1. and Again, not a very good defense. Very struggling. Um, not good. Green Bay, three and two. Baltimore, four and two. Okay. The Ravens don't have a name. Jacksonville, five and two. Seattle, six and two. Going into the bye at six and two. Now you might say, oh my God, you are insane saying that the Giants are going to win those six games and lose only two to Green Bay and Dallas. Hey, on any given Sunday, anything can happen. I just predicting what I believe and I've seen throughout the scouting reports and stuff myself. Houston coming off the bye, seven and two. I'm going with it. Uh, Detroit, eight and two. Dallas, I think they will lose. So that's eight and three. Washington, 
They've been able to beat Washington nine and three. Philly, nine and four. Washington, ten and four. Minnesota, eleven and four. The Colts, twelve and four. Philadelphia, twelve and five. You heard me right. I said that the Giants look like they have a good schedule. They can win 12 games this year and lose five. Now, I believe that there's that is their ceiling, 12 and five. Their floor, on the other hand, if injuries plague them and stuff, hopefully they don't knock on wood. Um, I'm going to go with a 10 and seven record due to the fact that the Giants don't need to try that hard. If injuries fully plague them, I think they'll win 7-10. and 10. But if they stay mostly healthy, their floor is 10-7, and 7, their ceiling is 12-5. and 5. Um, But if they don't, I think they'll win 7 out of 10 games. And if they do win 7 out of 10 games, they might be able to make the playoffs due to the fact that the NFC East is a joke. So that's my record prediction on the Giants and Jets. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I said Jets 10-7 and 7, and their um, floor eight and nine. I'm saying the Giants are going to go 12 and five and their floor is 10 and seven if they can stay mostly healthy. But if they don't, they might only win seven games and stuff. So you guys let me know, uh, what do you think? Do you think that the Giants have what it takes this year? Or do you think Daniel Jones, once again, is going to muck it up for them and they will lose more games than I predicted and they will lose. They will not be able to win that twelve-game um, stand this year, and be able to be the second or, um, yeah, the second or the first best team in their division this year. What do you guys think? Do you think the Giants have what it takes, or do you think that Daniel Jones will muck it up again in his fourth year, and this will be it for him? He will get cut, and the Giants will look for a new promising guy that can take them to the promised land and give them their fifth Super Bowl win. You guys, let me know what you think. But that's all I have to say about the Giants and the Jets. So until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one. And be on the lookout for those TikTok videos.